hunchback. As you can tell, I've got my um, American Nails dust collector running here. I love it. All right. And now we're just going to do a little bit of scattering around this area. Here, let me zoom in just a little bit so you guys can see this. All right. How's that? Okay. All right. There we go. pure acetone and we are just going to wipe that down as per the gel bottle instructions and now we should be ready to go. I'm going to move my dust collector out of the way and let us use now this is a oh sorry not the right one okay so this is our bond base this is made in the UK and it is HEMA free so for those of you who are looking for HEMA free, this is a great base for your gel or your BFs, whatever it is that you're using. And I'm just going to put a nice thin layer on here. Make sure we're not running into the cuticle or the sidewalls. Okay, there we go. Uh, gel bottle light. We're going to do our 60 second cure. Here is my gel bottle form. And as always, we are going to Push that curve into that form. You can see how nicely that holds. We can get rid of this. We don't need that. Um, but look at what a wonderful job. Look, there we go, because it's nice and thick. So it's just going to hold that shape for me. I'm going to pull this off of here. As I have said before, there is that additional perf there. Let's try this. Let's see how it's going to fit on this little tiny pinky nail. Let's see, do we need to take it off? Uh, no, because it's perfect. Look at that, guys, look at that, okay? So let's secure it right there. Let's touch right there. Touch underneath, touch, touch. Push that in. Okay, you like that? Wicked barrel, right? Look, yay, that's a good one. And it's coming out directly, nice and straight directly so we are good to go with this now because this is a natural looking nail i am going to be using this which is my french white gel pot okay so we're using french white gel pot well that's nice but what's special about it what is special about it is it has a very natural shade so we can do this two ways. We can apply our BAB, and the one that I've chosen is, once again, it's a HEMA free, and it is called Merci, and it has a beautiful tone. Um, it's actually what I have on here. These nails are not finished, as you can see, but they were done in advance, but it's just a beautiful, a pink, but a tiny bit of a peach, but not necessarily a warm shade, but I think it would be suitable for everybody. It is gorgeous. But okay, so we can do this one of two ways. We can take our white, our very natural white, and we can just apply it on the edge. And then we can go in with our BAB and do our pink, or we can do it the other way around. So what I'm going to do, I think, for this time is I'm going to apply the white because, you know, back in the day, that was actually the traditional rather than doing the reverse. So we're just going to apply our white. Now, as I said, this is a very, look at that, okay? It's, it's a really, really beautiful white for achieving a natural nail. Now, I'm gonna show you, it gets a little bit of a different, let me just zoom on this just a tiny bit more. I'm gonna show you a little bit of a different technique, and this is kind of like full sculpturing for beginners, okay? I usually do this fairly quickly in one layer, but I want to show you a nice and easy way that we can do this. So what I'm gonna do, just to match it up to the length of my other nails, I'm gonna go right to there, okay? I'm gonna come back, come back, come back, come back. And then we're gonna just come back, come back, come back. 
Okay, so to right there, you guys can see that, right? Nice thin little panel, not going anywhere on us, uh, just up to the free edge. Let's freeze cure so that. Let's take that out. All right, we can see this now. And am I still zoomed in? I think I am, good. that means okay can you see here all right pull that up okay let's freeze cure and freeze cure just setting that in place we just don't want it to move you can see um by my pot here there's a fair amount of movement with this gel right now what the good part about that is, is it makes it really easy to work with, especially for somebody that's new, which is amazing. Here, once again, I'm just going to do exactly what I did on the other side. And I'm just going to come down that side. I'm going to come up. I'm going to connect to the natural nail and create that little panel. Okay, good. Freeze cure. Once that is set into place, it kind of gives us a little bit of a guideline. So I'm going to actually let this cure for about 10 or 15 seconds. This is what we're looking like now. I mean, I haven't touched it and, and you can see it kind of moved a tiny bit, but it's so thin, any of that movement, um, it's not going to be a big deal to, to just touch that up. Now, before I get started, and this is just, um, we are just going to be working with a little bit of forethought here in case I need to do a little bit of a touch-up. So I'm just going to have a little bit on there. You can probably identify this as the um, the waxy side to our nail form paper here. So yes, it has a good use. Look at that. So if you want, you can do this before. You can do it after. Entirely up to you. Um, but we can start up once again, I'm going to show you the really kind of the easy way to do it, right? We don't want anything to be hard and challenging. No, no, no. So let's just do a little bit of an easy way to do it. I'm going to remove a little bit of this. Once again, we want to try to keep this simple. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push this in. Now, remember, we already did that nice little layer up in this top area here. So we don't have to worry really about getting too close to that cuticle. And then we can just pull this down there, yeah, just like that, right? Super easy. <laughs> Super easy. What do you think? Kind of cute. What do you think? Cute. And there we have it. Ta-da, cute. Full cure at this point and one clear B up just to float over the entire nail and then we'll do a full cure then ready to file just that easy I will be back in a minute okay we're back we're nice and cured oh look how cute that is you guys love that like oh how natural does that look hey who wouldn't want that okay so hopefully you guys can see this let's make sure that I'm in the shot here and let us just go over this. So what I'm doing with my clear beab is I just want to make sure that our two panels are meshed together. Let's zoom out just a little bit here. So I want to make sure the nail bed is well connected to the free edge. And I also want to look from the side and just make sure that we've got enough product in there, okay? We're 
just going to let that flow for a second. And then once again, it's going to be a full cure. 16, we're back. So here we go. We've had a full, full cure. I'm just going to use my alcohol and wipe that dispersion layer off of the top. This is a BIA, but it's not a top coat, so there is a dispersion layer, but oh, ha, there we go. There goes our form. I, I mean, you can't obviously peel that back, and, but it was just that easy. Now what we're gonna do is I do have my gel bottle file. We're gonna file here. We're gonna do our sidewall. We're gonna do our sidewall. Hopefully you guys can see that. Let, let me just stand up here so I can kind of see what you're seeing. I know my hand looks a little strange. But... Okay, and then under here, lower arch. Let's just grab that lower arch. See how nice and straight that is? Woohoo! And let's just grab, we had a little bit of product movement here with our lovely self leveler. That's okay. All right, lower arch. Can you see how this is coming together? Oh, I know it looks a little bit funny, but okay. So <laughs> there, that's a little bit of a better angle for you guys to see. Now, all we need to do is, I'm gonna shorten this back a little bit. I do want it to be relatively the same length as the others. But sometimes we do like to add just that little bit of extra length so that we have that filing room. So kind of that nice square shape. There we go. I'm gonna come up on here, check out my angle right there. Can you see how I'm just going out just a little bit? Out just a little bit, roll up. Let's grab this side, lower arch, lower arch, lower arch, up and out a little bit. Can you see how that just narrows that nail up? Kind of like on this thumb, I have like kind of a big wide thumb, but by just doing that little tapered shaping um, makes a pretty big difference. Looking like eight, as we used to call them back in the day. Um, in reference to nails, kind of looking a little bit like there's too much product on them and just kind of, mm, yeah. Bit too bulky, I guess, this is what we're looking for the word there. Okay, I am still standing, so this is still a little bit awkward, but I'm I'm looking through my camera here or my iPhone just trying to make sure you guys are getting a good shot of this. Okay, so I think that's that's our preliminary filing. We don't really need to do a lot of filing. The shape and everything is, you know, I obviously we've got a we can see these other edges are a little bit more tapered than that. So we have a little bit of filing to do, but we have a nice, uh, nice C curve and we've got loads of product on there. So loads of product, that means, yay, we've got some amazing strength. Okay. okay so our last step here is going to be finishing up with our new Rubber Top 2.0. Um, this is so new, like so new. It doesn't even have a label on the top. Anyways, um, yes, absolutely brand, brand, brand new. It has a very different um, feel to it on the nail. I really like it a lot. It feels amazing. And the texture is, is quite different. But the feel of it on the nail, too, is very lovely. Has a softness to it. It's kind of hard to describe. I guess you're gonna to have to dry it. Okay, so here's our final shot. Let's just move this over into view. And you can see it's all nice and very thin, very shiny, quite beautiful. 